Let's talk a bit about tattoo designs. This is part two of my tattoo series, and in part one we looked at the two major reasons why people argue against getting tattoos. So you've overcome those doubts, and you've decided you're going to get a tattoo, so where do you start? Well, the obvious starting point is coming up with a design. And guess what? You can walk into any tattoo shop, and the walls will be lined with all sorts of different flash pieces that you can walk in and choose from. Don't do it! Do not go in and pick a flash piece. You're paying a lot of money to get some artwork on your body. Make sure you at least get a custom piece that is meaningful to you and that is unique to you. So spend some time thinking about it. You might come up with an idea, but I would say, you know, maybe sit on that idea for six months or even longer and see if your thoughts on the subject matter change over time. The last thing you would want is to be impulsive about it, to come up with an idea, run out and get it tattooed on you, and then down the road go, oh, I wish I'd spend a bit of time thinking about that a little more. But here's the good news. You don't have to come up with the exact design. Start with some concepts you want to incorporate into the tattoo, and I'll talk about why after I have a look at my second tattoo. In part one, I talked about my negative experiences with getting my first tattoo, but I was determined to get more. And it's largely because of one music video I saw back in what must have been the 90s, I guess. There was a singer who had all these solid black tattoos along with piercings with silver jewelry. And there was something about that combination of the black tattoos and the silver jewelry that made me go, I want to look like that. So at that time I decided that I was going to keep going with the solid black tattoos. And I sort of ended up getting swayed by a couple of things that were in fashion at the time. Those being tribal designs and armbands. Yep, along with the so-called tramp stamps, those were sort of the trendy things in tattooing. And I wanted a design along those lines. At the time, I had just started working as a paramedic in Toronto, and I didn't really have any place to live yet. So it was summertime, and I was able to rent a room in a dormitory at a college. There was this other punk rock kid living there who was convalescing after having broken his arm in a mosh pit at a hardcore show, and he told me that he designed tattoos for his friends. So I told him the concept that I wanted, and I had him draw up a design for me. I then took that drawing to a local tattoo shop, and this is the result of that. Now a couple of things with this. I didn't realize that the design wasn't quite big enough to go all the way around my arm, so at the time I had this gap here in my armband, and everyone that saw it was like, oh I see you decided not to go all the way around, is it because the inner arm is so sensitive? And I was like, no, that's just the way the design worked out. As you can see, eventually I got that space filled in by another tattoo, which I'll talk about in the next video of this series. But I ended up with this three-quarters armband. And I gotta tell you a secret, despite the tribal nature of it, I'm not of Polynesian descent. But whatever, it was a solid black tattoo, and that's what I was looking for. Now here's the second problem that came up. When I got home and I was looking it over, I realized that the artist had missed a spot where it kind of overlaps here. I double checked with the design I still had on hand and sure enough there was just this tiny little area here that was in the design that hadn't made it onto my arm. So I went back to the shop and I talked to the artist and I was like, oh there's just this little bit missing. And he was pissed off. I could see that he was thinking, why on earth are you coming back here to get me to do this? But he reluctantly filled it in for me. And in so doing, he actually managed to make it bigger than it should have been. So now there's just this lump here instead of a nice, smooth, straight line from one section to the next. When I looked at the details and the line work, I realized that he hadn't done a super great job. He hadn't made the points super sharp or really done super clean lines or anything. So overall, tattoo number two is also a somewhat negative experience. But back to your design and the reason why you don't need to do what I did and come to the artist with an exact design for them to copy. Here's the thing, tattoo artists are artists. You'll get the very best result if you allow your artist to create the piece using the elements that you want to be incorporated into that tattoo. 
Not only that, but it's helpful if the artist has some say in the exact placement on your body of this piece, because they will know that based on the shape of the piece you want, where it's going to fit best and look best on your body. If you're set on a very specific area for it, which more often than not we are, you need to maybe allow for the fact that a design might need to be adjusted to fit within that space of your body. When you're commissioning this beautiful custom piece to put on your body, the artist is also going to be the happiest if they have some control over the final look of the piece, if they are able to incorporate their skill and their experience into what is being created. And ultimately you're going to have the piece that ends up looking the best as a unique piece of artwork. So I say to people, don't go to your artist with something just to copy. It's not going to be fun for the artist to sit there and do an exact copy of something, and you're not going to get the very best results you possibly can. So that's about it for coming up with your tattoo design. On my next video, I'm going to chat about choosing an artist to do that piece for you. Hey, it's Josh. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you could consider doing one of the following things, I would appreciate it. Give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. If you've already subscribed, hit that notification bell or share the link to the video with somebody who you think would enjoy it. I'm recording? Okay. And thought, and as you can see, eventually I got it fit in which I'll talk about this tattoo on I think it's my next video so that's about it for coming up with your